Hello my loves and welcome to today's loungewear cozy comfy pajama haul. I've got a few little bras on the comfy side but most of it is just loungewear or PJs so getting us ready for the cozy time of year and let's just get straight into the video. So I'm going to start off with the fluffiest thing I can see which looks like fluffy heaven. I picked this up in a medium. Oh it's two of them. There's a, it's a set and it's £55, but they have got a sale on at the minute. So you can definitely, if you head sooner rather than later, you probably be able to get a good bargain. I reckon they'll also have a Boxing Day sale as well. Um, so I picked everything up in the medium. I'll let you see how it fits in the cutaway. I'm UK size 12 and I'm five foot nine just for reference. Like I said, this is £55. So you've got the top. I've got to be honest, I don't love this on the sleeves. I'm not starting off very strong here. <laughs> I don't really know what this reminds me of, but it reminds me of like a school backpack or something. Don't really know why that's on the sleeves. Not really feeling that. Um, however, the bottoms I am here for because they're like a cloud of comfort. These look so cozy, so comfy, elasticated waistband, nice drawstring as well. And it's actually a real drawstring. I hate it when they do the fake ones. Um, and they actually do like a really nice length. They've got cuffed bottoms. They are so soft to touch, so cozy. I feel like I can overlook the weird arm thing because they are just so soft and cozy. Oh. Okay, but we are starting off. Okay, I think they all come in sets, which is quite nice. Because I don't like it when you've got to buy the top and the bottom in sets, but it just feels like spending more. <laughs> there was also so much, it was so hard for me to pick. So this is like, I tried to get an array of things but a lot of them are like satin silky PJs because this time of year, that's what you want. So it's soft, cozy, soft on the skin. Got these really nice charcoal ones with a pink rim around the neckline and around the wrists and also a little logo on the button, uh, the button, the pocket. That's super cute as well. I picked these up in a 14. I always like to size up on my PJs, just one size because I just want them to be comfy. And I think that way they, you get the comfort without them like drowning you. It doesn't look too big. And then we've got the matching bottoms with the stretchy waistband again, and a cute little bow, which I do actually think looks sewn on. This is sewn on, this is not a real <laughs> pull you ins. And then they just finish off at the bottom as well, matching with the gray and pink. They're really cute, really nice. I'm not blown away yet, but I do think I've got some tricks in there. Cute. These look really nice. So I've been a bit obsessed with this colour this season. Although this is a little bit more purpley than uh, burgundy. Oh, this is just the top. Oh, there's some bottoms separately. Okay, so obviously I'm not getting this very right, am I? Some things come in sets, some things you buy separately, or maybe they just package them separately, I'm not sure. This, however, says £30 for the top. It doesn't say set, so maybe this is a little bit more. This is really, really beautiful though. Lovely colour. It's also got really sweet little button details that are covered as well. It's got little pink polka dot hearts. Really, really lovely, really, really soft, really cozy. Again, I picked this up in a 14. It says £30, but I don't believe they would have been £30 each. Well, let's see. So that seems like it would be a lot. It says the bottom's 26. That seems quite pricey, doesn't it, for pyjamas? I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe they're like their new set or something. Whenever I try and compare prices of things, I try and look at like, why is that one 30 for a set and why is this one 50 for a set? And like, if I can't see an obvious difference, I don't really understand it. Um, they've got pockets, they haven't got a bow. Again, they've got a stretchy waistband. They are ridiculously soft and really, really lovely. Um, but I'm not really sure what the price difference is about, but anyway, you'll see them on. Hopefully they fit, they look cute, they look cozy, they look nice. I think this would be a really nice gift or like a mum, a sister, an auntie, someone like that. Um, but just because the colour's really sort of, you can't dislike that colour, can you? Next, I picked up a little short set. These look cute, these are very me. I like these. So, not super sexy, but they have a little bit more sexiness because they have a little lace um, arm, which I think is nice, because sometimes you don't want to be you want to be comfy and you want to be cosy, but you don't also want to 
for me personally, I like to have PJs that are still flattering, still feminine, still girly, that I feel nice in. Um, so it's not for anyone else, just for me, but equally I don't want to be sat around looking like a slob. So <laughs> these are really, really cute. I actually really like these. These are just black, £38 for the set. Again, I got all of these, I think, in the Black Friday sales, so I had massive discounts on them. So hopefully they'll still have some discounts, and if not, I'd say just wait until around Christmas and that kind of time of year, and they'll have really good sales on again. Or Yeah, I'm sure they will. <laughs> and these are the shorts, so matching set. Really, really cute. Nicely, just like lace bottom and stretchy waistband again. That one is a real pull on that one. So I think they'll fit really nicely and just nice to have on in the evening. I feel like I can sleep in those ones as well. I don't always sleep in like long PJs because I find I get too hot. But I like to sleep in shorts and shorts and a t-shirt or shorts and strappy top. That's a good sleeping one for me. So we want something pink and a little feminine. This is, my, this is very me. Very cute. Very girly. Baby pink. Oh, this is really sweet. A little bit more sexy because I'm not like a little cami. Um, I really like this. Really pretty, really nicely made, nice shape, nice length. The lace is really delicate. It's really, really pretty, isn't it? This one is £32 for the set. Apparently I picked this one up in a 12. Probably just wanted to see um, the size difference. This does look quite a generous 12. Might be a little cheeky bottom poking out at the end of that one. <laughs> but um, yeah, quite cute. Maybe if you're uh, looking for some nice pyjamas if you're in a relationship and you want them to still be quite sexy good little option good little option for any men maybe want to buy one for their women or women want to buy them for their women at christmas i don't love this looking at this but i feel like actually on this is going to be quite cute so this set is 45 pound and they are a pinstripe full length proper stretchy again pyjama they're like these are like the classic pyjamas i absolutely love these i think they finish really nicely and that, to me, is what makes things a little bit more expensive. They've got a really nice satin bow on the waistband. And then for the top, we've got the really classic with the button. Uh, I keep calling it a button. With the pocket. I just think these are lovely. These are my favourite, actually, so far. Can't wait to try them on. Really, really nice. And then they just finish off again with that nice detail on the wrists as well. So they're really cute. I think they'd be really nice for, like, Maybe if you've got a younger sister or like a sister-in-law. I feel like this baby pink is a little bit more of a younger colour, but I personally do love it. But I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, so just bear that in mind if you are doing any Christmas shopping or maybe it's just for you. Now, I did pick up a few bras because I think, this, I think the bras are what inspired this whole haul, actually, because I was looking to try and find comfy bras that are still supportive. I don't really love underwire bras. I find them really, really uncomfortable. And they had so many bras, but because I think a lot of them were in the sale, there weren't all the sizes left. So I picked up different sizes just to try. However, this is way too small, but it's so cute. And if it comes back in stock, I'll definitely have to pick it up. So this is just a little pink. It looks like a kid's bra. I mean, maybe if you have teenagers, this would just be like perfect for their first bra, but equally I'm 32 and I love it. So I just think this is really sweet. It's got a little heart embroidery on it. It's stretchy, it's not underwired. It's got a tiny bit of padding, but I think, yeah, it's removable. And then you've got that nice stretchy waistband. So it's gonna feel supportive, but it's not gonna feel restrictive or anything like that. And it says it's 24, but I know it was like, I think it was half price, I think it was like 12. And yeah, if that comes back into stock, I'm definitely gonna pick it up in a bigger size. I did get a similar one in a medium. My boobs were a bit squished in it, but it is the time of the month, so they are a bit bigger than normal at the minute. So I'm thinking the medium one probably be okay, but maybe I could go up to a large. I don't know, we'll see. Next, I picked up this one. So I picked up a few in different sizes just to try. Um, so like I said, I was looking for ones that weren't underwired, but were supportive. And this is a really nice, just obviously really classic everyday basic bra. It's really simple. But that was what I was looking for. I just wanted like a t-shirt bra, but without wiring in. Um, and that still was supportive. And this, I think, does do the job. However, it was a little bit snug. The 34 was too big for me, really. And the 32 was a little bit too small. Um, I feel like I am a 32, but I feel like I can't breathe properly in them. So every time I go and get measured, they're like, you're 30 to 32. And I'm like, there's no way I'm 30 because I can't breathe. 
And every time I wear a 32, I just find it really uncomfortable and digs in. And then it makes, you know, little bits of fat poke out. And that's not what we're going for. So I always tend to go up to a 34. And then I know I'm not getting the support because I know it's not tight enough. So it is really difficult buying bras, isn't it? Which is hence why I did it online. I ordered so many. This says it's £22. But again, I know I didn't pay that. It was much cheaper. But it is really great. It has also got these straps that you can, like, unclip. So you can crisscross them. Um, so you could do, like, say you had halter necks on, not halter necks, what's it called? Like a racer back. It will be hidden behind it, which I think is a fab little easy and effective way to sort of do that. It's got really simple branding on the straps. I need to get my head out of the shot. Really, really simple branding on the straps and just a little bit again on the back on the bust area it is it is a really good quality bra and I, I i honestly would say this is exactly what i'm looking for if it fit me just right but it didn't it just didn't fit quite right i got the 32 double d to try on there because sometimes i feel like if you go up or down you need to go up or down in the cap as well but i do normally wear a 34 d but i'm not really a 34 i am a 32 so that's probably why i'm not getting the support i need it's hard work being a woman, isn't it, sometimes? Right, moving back on to some PJs. Oh, these are cute. Where's the top to go with these, then? Did I just sort the bottoms? <laughs> I can't see a top to go with these, but they're really cute. That's strange. Navy striped pant. So I hope there's a top somewhere, but at the moment I can't quite see it. I will um, share it with you if I find it. It's just got a little pinstripe down and then this satin stripe all the way down the sides of the outside of the legs it's got pockets again i think this would be really cute i think this would be my favorite if i actually had the top probably is here somewhere but there's so much stuff right now i can't actually see it so hopefully they fit nice they do feel nice and stretchy i picked them up in a 14 and they are they are looking like quite generous sizes which i like i absolutely hate it when you buy stuff and you like a 14 is a squeeze when you're a 12. it's it just it's just unnecessary come on like companies can just get their size in right but I'm very impressed with this so far. Then I also picked up, oh, this is to go over the cute little pink cami set that I had. So this is a satin robe, blush pink satin robe, uh, 38 pound. Oh, it's quite short. It's quite pretty. Nice little bit of lace. Again, that nice dusky soft pink. Really, really do actually like the pink, it's lovely. And then it's got just like a tie waistband and the inside tie as well, which I always think is handy. And it's tucked in a really cute little bow. Oh, why is that so cute? Um, but it does look very short. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be long enough on me or not. You'll see in the cutaway, I'll either be thumbs up or a thumbs down, but it does look very, very sweet in the color. So that black bar I showed you does also come in a pink. I'm not gonna talk about it because I just did. And then I also picked up this brow which comes in these two colors so it's like a nude skin tone and like a lilac um just to try and this i tell you what girls if you want to you've had a boob lift this is the bra i put this on yesterday and i have never seen my boobs look so good in all my life because whew, they absolutely it's not underwired again but it is padded so it just gave them like a lift and up because it's got this almost like racer back detail so it does up at the bottom and then also does up at the top. So it does up here and then lifts them sort of like in and up at the top. Well, I don't know, this I could sell to anyone if you saw it on. It was absolutely <laughs> a game changer. I picked this one up in a 32D and that's, that was the best fitting bra that I did try on. Um, and this one says it's 28 pound. Again, I did have it in the sale. I like the lace detail on the back. I do think it's really pretty. Um, and a, a tip that I did learn from I had like a bra fitting online once and um, what they taught me was when you buy your bras you want it to be on the on the furthest one away and then as time goes by because it stretches you can put it on the next one and then when it goes again you can put it on the next one so if you're buying it on, when it's fitting on the largest one like the third one in it's, it's not going to last you because they obviously the elasticity goes so there's a little tip for you don't tell don't tell me I never teach you anything. <laughs> but um, equally, it is going to be a little bit snug when you first start wearing it. But they do give a bit, don't they? And I think that would be the one, if I was going to keep any of them, I would definitely would have kept that one. However, 
like I said, I was trying to wait until I found the perfect one to keep, which I do feel like I found actually. I've got this lovely like dark teal lace one from, I think it's called Pretty Polly or, yeah, it's called Pretty Polly. Um, and they sent me actually two bras and two underwear sets and they're absolutely gorgeous. They fit me perfectly. This one actually is wired, but I can't feel it at all. And the fit around the cups is just absolutely perfect. So if anyone else is looking for some bras and maybe you can't find the right one, definitely worth a little try over there on Pretty Polly. If I have a discount code, I'll leave it down below, but I'm not sure if I do. They also sent me some tights and some period pants, which is so handy. And then the last thing I picked up was obviously had to be as it's Christmas, the most cozy looking dressing gown I think I've ever seen. Really, really cute, really, really girly, really, really feminine. It's white, so it's simple and plain and neutral. You can't hate it, but it's also got hearts on it, but so you have to love it. <laughs> this is super cute. It's so soft as well. This is £58, which I do think actually is quite pricey for a dressing gown. I've just shared a uh, dressing gown over on my Instagram page with Marks and Spencers and it was 30, no, £45, so £12 cheaper, £13 cheaper and they also had some around the £30 to £35 mark and they're exactly the same quality if not nicer so I'm just going to put that out there, however they're not as girly, this is much more like maybe teenager, in your 20s, very cutesy, girly, um, that kind of vibe whereas like, I feel like the Marks and Spencers one is like 30s plus you know <laughs> so that's where I'm at with that but it is equally gorgeous and if money's not an issue and you just like the style of it then I definitely would say this is really cute and again like I said I definitely had discount and everything so I didn't actually pay the full price for them which probably means it was an all right price and I do think it's really cozy and comfy and and soft and just lovely and that is everything from today's Boo Boo Avenue haul. Hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I think this is the first Boo Avenue haul I've ever done. I did a lounge, lounge, what was it called? Loungewear? They've changed the name of it, haven't they? The, the like lounge, what's it called? I think it's just called lounge. Lounge company stuff, like years and years and years ago. And you guys have loved it. It's been one of my like most viewed videos ever, so. I thought I'd do this one today. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see daily outfit inspo, make sure you're following me over on my Instagram and TikTok. And if you are on Facebook, also on Facebook. Um, and make sure you are subscribed because at the minute, we're having two videos a week. It's a busy December for me, but I hope you guys will enjoy it and appreciate it as I relaunched my YouTube channel about a month ago now. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy to be back and hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you have any videos you want to see, any content you want me to make, any specific hauls, ways to wear outfits, specific items you can't style, maybe capsule wardrobes, new in hauls, whatever it is you want to see, just let me know down below in the comments section. If you have any favourites from today or if you specifically love Boot Avenue, then please do let me know as well. Happy Christmas shopping and happy Christmas and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.